Hey, this is Meredith McDonough with The Call with Finn. Um, it is December 7th, 2020 at 2.12 a.m. Don't ask why I'm awake. I don't know why I'm awake either, but here I am. Sometimes um, divine guidance <laughs> brings their best ideas or thoughts or things they want to tell me at uh, very early hours of the morning. So, um, but this uh, topic... Um, little chit chat I'm going to have is called my best advice to new psychic readers. Um, so let me start off by introducing myself. I'm Meredith Madonna, owner of The Call Within. I've been reading professionally since 2011. Um, I began at the age of 23. I'm now 32. I'll let you do the math. Um, in addition, I'm a Reiki master teacher, um, hypnotherapist, and a quantum touch level one instructor. And I take a lot of joy in, in teaching and guiding students in their beginning process and a lot of joy in watching them uh, go off and start off on their own. And um, this came to me, they were like, no, you need to really like, you know, talk about this. So my best advice to new psychic readers is number one, be patient. Um, and I say that because it is very easy for new psychic readers. We know you're very, you know, we're enthusiastic and it's exciting. And then we're like, okay, I'm going to start. And then it's like, okay, nobody's calling. All right, well, what do I do? And now when I started my business, this is back in the days before Instagram, before Pinterest, you know, I had a crappy little Google sites uh, <laughs> webpage, um, you know, and technology and platforms have evolved drastically since then to be much more user-friendly for entrepreneurs and small businesses. Now I say be patient and I say this in regards to your client because some of you may give a reading and remember that you are delivering a message that operates on divine timing, not on your timing, not on your client's timing. And I'll give an example. I had a client who I had a reading with and forgive me, you might hear my cat crying in the background. She's upset with me because she's a kitten and she's uh, in her crib. Um, in her, in her crate, her crib, her crib crate. Cause she keeps peeing on my bed <laughs> while I'm in it anyway. So is, um, I had a client who came to me and said, you know, we had a reading and she didn't like anything I said. She's like, well, I don't know about any things that she just told me, but I was like, okay, well, this is just what spirit's telling me. And you know, so be it. Seven years went by seven years. That's seven Christmases, seven Thanksgivings and seven birthdays of my client. She reached back out to me seven years later. She came back in for a reading and she sat in the chair. This is pre-COVID. She said, Meredith, everything that you told me came true. Everything that you told me came true. And it came true exactly in the way that you said or exactly the way that your guides predicted. So be patient is that sometimes you, you as the reader just have to trust the information that's coming through. You have no control over the timing of the information, okay? Um, number two is not every client will be your client and trust that nine out of 10 clients that call you or email you or hit you up on Instagram DMS will be your client. And there will be that one that is not in the entire, um, several years that I've read, I've only had two people get up and walk out of a reading. <laughs> and that was because they didn't like what I had to say. On the other hand, in the entire uh, 10, several years I've read, I've had people call me for a reading and my guides have said they need to call this person. They're calling you because you are the connection point, but you are not to deliver the message. The message has to come from this specific person. I don't even know what the message was, but oftentimes, you know, people would say, well, what do you mean you don't want to read me? They'd be really confused at first. I said, I'm sorry. Spirit's guiding me that I'm not your reader, but this person is. You need to go talk to this person. And more often than not, 100% of the time, they'd shoot me an email back and say, oh my God, I had the reading with the person you said, and it was exactly what I needed, and da 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 So trust it. And when you trust that not every client will be yours, they will bring you more clients, okay? That will be for you. Number three, if you don't know the answer to something, just say so. The client says, you know, am I going to meet somebody in the next year and it's not clear and nothing's popping up on your radar, you know, just say, you know, it's not clear at this time, or I'm sorry, I, that, that isn't clear. I just don't know. I'm not getting any hits on that right now. Um, don't lie and don't bullshit. 
you know, some readers will just tell people whatever the fuck they want to hear my pardon my French, because they just want to make their money. But don't be that person, be a person of truth, be a person of integrity. Okay. Um, you know, don't just tell them what they want to hear. There are readers out there again that do that. And, and they're the people who are not upholding the integrity of our work. So if you just don't know, just say so. Your client will appreciate honesty more than anything, okay? Um, number four, yeah, that's fun, yeah, it's number four. People may not like what you have to say. <laughs> and keep in mind that when we initially got into this work, you have a, I'm assuming if you're listening, you have a natural psychic ability or natural psychic mediumship ability, or natural healing ability of some kind. Number four, when you got into this work, you got into this work to help people, but you did not get into this work to be liked. Sometimes you will tell your clients things they do not want to hear. You may tell them things that they do not like. And sometimes the things you may tell them may even be uncomfortable for you to deliver. You know, if you have a client who, you know, is uh, really chomping at the bit, you know, to make some sort of move and you're like, well, you know, spirit really, I mean, you know, I don't know, like it's not really happening that way. You know, again, people might try to muscle you into changing the reading. Um, and I've had this happen one or two times in the past couple of years. And now I'm, I'm very comfortable to tell people as I'm sorry, that is not what spirit is saying. You know, this is what they meant. And I meant what I said, and they said what they meant. Please not try to shift the information. Okay. And it's not about being right. It's just about respecting the message that spirit has been delivering. Okay. Prepare for your abilities to evolve. That's number five. Number five, prepare for your abilities to evolve. Um, when I was 23, 24, um, when I began reading professionally, I was always been sensitive. I, if someone asked me about moving cross country, I wouldn't have had the ability to be like, which part of the country? Now, if somebody asked me about moving or relocating, I literally see a map, assuming they're in the United States, I see a map of the United States in front of me. And my body is literally drawn to the different parts of the map in my mind's eye. That is not an ability that I first had. So if you're, if you're a new reader and you're like, oh man, I don't get names. Oh man, I don't get cause of death. Oh man, I don't get you know their birth date or the color of the shirt they're wearing if you're doing a phone reading. That does not mean that you're not a good reader. Your abilities will evolve. And I will tell you that um, when I turned, when you have your Saturn return, um, whether it's your first or second Saturn return, your abilities will go boom through the roof twofold. When you have any sort of rite of passage um, in your life, you know, whether you have a child, whether you get married, whether you turn 40 or 50 or 60 um, or whatever it is, a big life event, your intuitive abilities are going to amplify tenfold. Okay. So just trust that your abilities are going to evolve. Number six, don't get distracted or discouraged by people who you perceive to be better than you. And I'm going to emphasize that. Don't get distracted or discouraged by readers who you perceive to be better than you. And um, <clears throat> the reason I say that is because as a new reader, it is very easy to get discouraged um, by seeing someone who's like, wow, they have so many Yelp reviews or so many years of experience or so many years of certifications. I mean, I've had readers tell me, you know, Meredith, you're kind of intimidating, you know, um, it's kind of scary, like, you know, you're kind of on this other level. Now, mind you, boys and girls, I do not view myself as being on another level. Um, I really don't. I mean, I just do what I got to do, keep my head down and work hard. Um, you know, but does not mean that I view myself as being above people. Or, um, you know, I, and I'll give an example. I taught an intuition development class a couple years ago in the spring at my old office on North Washington Street in Alexandria, uh, Virginia. And there was a woman who I met at a networking event and she heard about my class and um, was very serendipitous and she came. And so she had never done a psychic workshop in her life, okay? Never in her life, never. This woman, by the end of the day, we were all calling her the witch because she was just incredibly accurate. So what I'm saying is, is here I was as the teacher of the class and here's the student who's just like blowing things out of the water, you know, in, in a positive way with her abilities. So again, do not get distracted or discouraged by people who you perceive to be better than you. This is not a, um, a level game. We're not in a video game of Donkey Kong 
where, you know, again, if anything, the only levels you have are the ones that you have within yourself and your own self limitations. Okay. I'm going to repeat that. The only levels that you have are the ones within yourself and your own self limitations. So if you're like, you know what, spirit, I want to get better with names. I want to get better with times. I want to get better with relocation. You can ask the universe for those things. Hey, you know, guys, I, I would really like to have the ability to do X. You know, what do I need to do that? And they might direct you to a course. They might direct you to a teacher. They might bring it up in the very next reading and say, okay, you're going to trust what we're bringing you. May not be in the way that you expect. Um, so to conclude. If you are a new psychic reader, this is an exciting and fresh time for you. I'm excited for you. Um, I remember long ago when it was my first, you know, couple years as well. And when you hit a milestone in your practice, you know, you're going to look back at all the hard work that you've done. And, um, you know, so again, you know, be brave. It takes a lot of courage to do what we're doing. If you're putting yourself out there and hanging your shingle, um, you know, whether on the internet or in a, you know, a store or a new city or a new town, it takes a lot of bravery to do that. And if you're doing that, I'm proud of you and you're going to do wonderful and excellent things. Um, you know, stay in the light, stay in the truth, stay in your integrity. And I promise you that spirit will not steer you astray. Thank you.